Nothing like some good bipedal action to improve your motor functions. Welcome, glorious people of the interwebs, to another episode of Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey. We're just getting some exercise in before we hop into the Savannah of Doom. But uh, in the previous episode, we evolved into Artie, a brand new species, and we are pretty far into the game. But today, I have plans. Ladies and gentlemen, I got plans, all sorts of plans, and they're going to be great. Although we kind of spawned in a really terrifying place, surrounded by hyenas and other savannah creatures. Uh, but for those of you that haven't seen what already looks like, we've got more defined cheekbones. Our brow has been reduced a little bit. We're slowly getting human-like features. We can be bipedal for a rather long period of time now, too. Uh, I'm going to work on expanding that or getting it a little bit better while by walking around in water today. I'm not going to record much of that since I already did. Uh, but thank you all so much for the crazy support on the Ancestors series. Y'all have been absolutely amazing. And today, my plan, since I forgot to say what it was, is to arm my entire clan with clubs. We're going to be the most clubbing arty army in the history of the universe. It's going to be great. We've got prime targets. We got one down there, so we should be able to get a bone from that. And we got some more hyenas right there. But I need to arm myself with some sticks first. So we got to work on getting the army ready. And then we can arm them with clubs. It's going to be fantastic. I was really hoping this was going to be basalt down here, but unfortunately it's not. We get to inspect the hyena corpse from the last episode where we evolved here and it got attacked by a saber tooth, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but we got a new gathering spot and... <gasps> Ooh, we do have a bone down here. Nice. I'm going to leave this one of these bad boys here. And th the plan is, the reason I want to arm the entire clan with clubs is because I think since they can attack as long as they have a weapon in their hands, they should always be able to attack. And the weapon will never break because it's a club, which is great. There we go. Sometimes the targeting system is a little iffy. We got one. We need, what, like 12 more or something like that? I think, actually, we need seven more. My first target. Three hyenas. I've got a club and a um, one spiky stick. The club is so I can continuously defend myself if I need to. The spiky stick is for murder. So, I haven't killed one yet myself. I was hoping the male would be stronger. And I would be able to one-shot kill them. Obviously, that's not the case. Um, but at least I got my club. Go oh, clubbing. The club of catastrophe. We've got another one over... What the hell is that? What was that? It was like a rhino thing. I need to find more sticks, but there's something over there I have never seen before. Riddle me a curious monkey. Because everybody's been complaining that I don't walk and buy a pedal enough. <laughs> I just hate having to stop and hit the button. It's infuriating to have to stop what you're doing and cut. Uh oh. Oh, I hear you. Oh, there's two of them now. Oh, hell no. Ugh. Uh oh. Did it get me a little bit? I think it did. I never, like, fallen over when hitting him with the club like that before. We've got these anthills here now, though. This is cool. I bet I stick a stick in you and eat those ants. Nice protein source. Oh, yeah. A termite mound. Where are you at? Do you want to go? Didn't you see your friend just get clubbed? Ah! Give me your bones. Let me hit you one more time. One more again. Get your ass back here, boy. Whoa. Ho. Oh, crap. It got me. He got me. He got me. Ugh. I need more spiky sticks. I came out here hoping the club would suffice, but it's really not. There's just so many of them everywhere. And they come in packs of two now, which is even worse. Let's see here. We got one over here that's injured. We've got spiky sticks. I need to get some anti-bleeding stuff. Come on. Kill it with the club. Get him. Guess not. That's so unfortunate. He's definitely limping away, though. There's some anti-bleeding stuff right over here, though. 
That's what I'm talking about. The thing I like about the Savannah is we can really hunt them down because they're not able to hide so easily in the freaking jungle like some stupid cats. Punch him in the face because he deserved it. Well, I guess not. Not this time. I need my chopper. Yeah, I bet your girlfriend over there is a little upset now, huh? Bet she's going to get clubbed too. I almost forgot to uh, poke the anthill. I'm pretty sure that's how we're going to get food out of it. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm like 90% sure. Um, maybe? No. Oh, you know what? I bet we need a little poker. I'm going to leave my weapons here. We know that other lion's around somewhere upset. We've got hyenas around still. But I bet it's this little dude that we poke it with. Yep. And eat. Sweet, sweet protein source, baby. Like honey. Things a little on the inside. Harvesting termites. Can I do it again? Oh, this might be a really good protein source. Can I only dip it once? Oh! Oh, shit. Am I alive? You got me good. Oh, ho, ho. you want revenge, huh? Oh, ho, ho. oh, you'll get yours. Where are you at? Where are you at? I know I'm bleeding. I don't care. Pack me while I'm trying to eat my tasty, tasty treats. Not today, son. Come back for you when I get another sharp stick. We had another cat sacrifice itself to the club. <laughs> the club army is uh, five strong now, I think. This is going a lot faster than I anticipated. They just keep sacrificing themselves. Doing weight training for the legs now. I made a stack of rocks. You can pick them up with left button, and now I'm walking through the water with it. We're going to be permanent bipedal apes of destiny here. In a very Oh my god, this is using so much stamina. We're going to die. Oh, man. That's a water buffalo over there of some sort. Oh, that's two water buffaloes. That must have been what I saw earlier. That's terrifying. I hate water buffaloes in the hunter game, too. Oh, no. But Papa already here looking to kill his first hyena. And we got the porcupine. We got two porcupine ones over there. Um, I'm thinking being on vigilant will actually help me do more damage. Somebody in the comments mentioned this, too. If they started doing less damage when they unlocked this ability. Oh, let's see if there's something to it. Ugh. Already got his first hyena. I'm already happy about it. Got another leg bone. What I'm talking about. I'm kind of scared to try and pimp slap a buffalo. Or bison or water buffalo. Whatever it is. But we should at least see if they're aggressive or not. You're going to be aggressive, aren't you? What's your name, buddy? Is it pain? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, in the neck. One shot, one kill. Artie the gangster. The African uh, buffalo. Tapped in the neck hole. Oh, 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 shit. Other buffalo angry. Other buffalo angry. <laughs> run, Hardy, run! It wasn't you. Look at it, just hovering like, oh, I'm gonna get that ass. That, that guy is gonna get revenge. I can feel it already. That was awesome, though. So there is something to that. So if you're out there and you've uh, unlocked the ability to control your emotions, which means you can use the left trigger to go into vigilance, and you can use the right trigger to go into alert, if you go into Vigilant before attacking, I do believe you do more damage. Um, somebody was theorizing that in the comments, and you know what? I think you're right. And I do read all the comments. Like, it's, it's one of my favorite things to do because you guys provide, more often times than not, some great advice. And I like having conversations with everybody, so I definitely recommend leaving comments down below if you have any cool ideas for games now or in the future. About time we see what hyena tastes like. You wanna go, bro? Ah, uh, you dead, son. Farewell, sweet prince. Oh, God. Oh, oh Artie, angry! Get him, Artie. By the way, that's this, this, this is the safe's name. It's perfect. 
Um, do I still have my rock of face smashing? I do. I need to butcher this bad boy up. Wait. Do I have the ability? Did I grab the wrong rock? Oh, I didn't. I like how when you eat, the little babies always try and grab it. Of course, I'm getting sick to my stomach. Every time. Every time. But I got another club. I wonder if we're going to get more than one club from, from the buffalo. I hope we do, because such a large animal. It would be such a waste if you don't. You know how I said I was hoping that uh, buffalo thing was going to have two bones in it? Guess how many bones it had. None! Yeah! I got trolled! Terrible. I'll tell you what, I don't think the savannah is quite ready for this. <laughs> this very angry horde of evolved apes with clubs. They don't know what's going to happen. You want to get clubbed, water buffalo? Ugh! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no! You just got plowed. Okay, so <laughs> the club to the head of the water buffalo doesn't work. It'll work for the rest of the things. We need to, like, one-shot the water buffalo in the neck with a sharp object. So we know that now. We're learning. We're evolving slowly but surely. Uh, I don't want to conquer my fear. Man. We found a new food. Very exciting. It looks like a pepper tomato or something. Oh, there's the heat. The carissa berry, huh? Let's see what this is all about. At least it's tasty. Uh, but what we need to find is aloe vera. If we find that, we'll be able to be in this heat without really having any issues. And that's really what we want. Is, what's that right there? That's just a flower of some sort. So I think we got to find aloe near water. I'm not 100% sure, but it makes sense that that would be the case. It's hot out here. Too hot for monkey. We go back to jungle. Jungle's so much better. Oh. Here we go. We got some hyenas. You ready to go clubbing? I'm ready to go clubbing. I said, are you ready to go clubbing? Oh, Black Mamba. <laughs> I didn't see that anywhere. I guess we're ready. Whoa. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, God. I hit the wrong button. Ah! I hit it. I got it. Even though I was holding B when I was supposed to be holding A. Oh, my Lanta almost got my boot. Oh, that's a Noposaurus Rex over there. Be gone, Rhino. The white rhinoceros. Rhinoceros. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Farewell, dickbag. Nobody liked you anyways. <laughs> All right. Uh, the African rock python kill the... Macaredos Rodas. I don't know what his name is. It's something. It's the death cat. We spent almost an entire day and night experimenting with this club method. Um, and I think the best way to do it is to give all of your clan the clubs and then equip yourself with a sharpened stick and a basalt chopper. Uh, that way you can get the kills and they can defend themselves with the clubs that way they always have something to defend themselves with that won't break and you can quickly remake weapons if you need to i want to see if we can actually one shot the water buffalo with the elder Ugh! no almost the elder is a little bit weaker than the than the male adult looks like it's gonna take two shots to do that i was just curious um because i like traveling with the elders because you never have to conquer your fear and I really hate having to do that. It's a really annoying process. Um, in some instances, it's needed, but I think I've gotten uh, all of the fear conquering that I need. I just don't really want to deal with it as a mechanic anymore. Uh, so I like to use the elders, even though they're a little bit weaker. But I definitely really like this. Like, the clan is a fearsome bunch now. They can always defend themselves and just club the McShit out of things. And uh, if I want to murder something quickly, then I stab them in the neck place with my fancy schmancy spear. Which is pretty great. Um, but I do want to see if we can maybe live down at that little rock down there. It looks like it's going to be a landmark. I don't know if there's going to be a legitimate oasis there or not. I kind of like just living just outside 
of the of the savannah. I think it's kind of like perfect. Oh, we've also got that little oasis right there. But it's definitely open to the elements. Um I guess we'll go check that out. We could always sleep in the trees if we need to. But regardless, the savannah is really cool. I've heard you can make it all the way to the ocean. I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't seen any video or anything of it. Uh, but mi we might try and do an expedition going all the way to the ocean or something. I feel like that would be pretty cool. We only have one more evolution, I think. Only one more evolution in the game before we complete all of it. But I have heard... Is there anything coming after me? I really like just doing this every once in a while with the Intimidate. Plus, it looks cool. It looks like we're ready to party. <laughs> um, but I have heard this is only the first part of four that they plan on making. I'll have to see if I can find some legitimate concrete information on that. But I really do hope it's the case, because I think they've got something on their hands here that could be really great, especially if they grow on it a little bit more. Uh, oh, so how am I not close enough? Also, I still haven't found any aloe plant. I'm hoping there will be some here. See if there's any meteorite that falls or something. Usually when we get to a new area, there's one. The savannah. The buffalo's basin oasis. Great. This place sounds like it's going to be full of buffalo. Which, honestly, are quite annoying. They're, like, not super duper aggressive. But there's so many of them that it gets frustrating. Oh, there's, like, no water in there. I think the water's just glitched. Skip this. See what we got going on down here. We got some food. There's no, like, predators or anything here. Famous last words. Oh, and I think we have finally found nothing. That's a plant. Uh, we have not found any aloe anywhere. One day we will. I think this is all stuff for beds. We got a fishing spot here, though. And we're dead. Oh, my God. Look at all those birds. What are they doing? Sweet baby Jesus. Ah, so we finally found some aloe. And the best way to do this is to grind it up with a stone, so that way you can make a paste out of it. Um, I don't have any right now, but I, I just want to eat it for now, because now that I know where to get it... I guess we can't. Uh, we need to alter it, so... Drop that. Drop that. And then alter it. And then switch, and... Back to it. Yeah, that's right. Give it a nice little lick. Look at it funny. And rub it all over your body. Best way to figure out what the hell things are. Highly recommended. Don't do it. There we go. Okay, so that helps out a lot. Oh, hello, kitty cat. I freaking see you. I don't think you're being all spoopy. <laughs> Not today, hombre. Um, but regardless, you know, we're exploring the savannah. I do like that area over there. I think there's actually something there, too. I heard uh, the sweet sound of the Emerald of Destiny. It might be a ruby, or it might be the uh, the dark side again, trying to lure us in. I don't know. But anyways, I do hope you all enjoyed the episode. We got our club army. It works great. The unfortunate bit is uh, I still have to kill things with sticks, because killing stuff with clubs takes a little too long. But it is a lot of fun watching them pimp slap things with it. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, God! <laughs> Where's my stick? I had a stick here. There it is. Excuse me. Somebody dropped their club. Ugh. Yay! How dare you make one of my monkeys drop their club? Just as I was saying how cool it was to watch him get pimp slapped with it. You had to prove me wrong. Now, whoever dropped their club, pick it up. Because we ain't playing this game. How dare you waste all the work I put into this. Take your club. Don't drop it again. See you all in the next one.